Thank you for joining us to learn about our ongoing work at the Chengdu Panda Reserve. It's difficult to think of any animal more beloved than the giant panda. Facing extinction for decades, it has become a symbol for wildlife conservation efforts around the world, in addition to being an icon of Chinese culture. The Chengdu Panda Reserve is a critical contributor to the ongoing protection of this charismatic species. And our team at Sasaki has been honored to collaborate with the reserve on its expansion. We've learned quite a lot about habitat destruction, fragmentation, conservation, and restoration along the way, and also quite a bit about the impact of the panda on other species. There really aren't many more exciting projects than this, and we're happy to share it with you today. It is no secret that the native habitat of giant panda is threatened, as of most other species. Today, there are less than 2,000 giant pandas remaining in the wild. Giant pandas live in mixed deciduous and evergreen forest with a diverse understory of bamboo uh, at elevations between 1,200 and 4,000 meters. Although their historic habitat once extended into more of uh, southern and eastern China, and even further south into Myanmar and Vietnam, the remaining wild panda population is now limited to roughly 20 isolated patches of bamboo forest in six mountain ranges in western China. Uh, outside of Chengdu, the foothills of uh, Tibetan Plateau provide the ideal habitat uh, for giant panda, offering over 60 species of uh, palatable bamboo and a suitable climate. Uh, but this habitat remains under constant threat from development pressures and climate change. Habitat loss and fragmentation remain the most serious threats to the survival of the species. A large proportion of their habitat has already been lost, logged for timber and fuel wood, or cleared for agriculture and infrastructure. This fragmentation isolates panda populations from each other and prevents them from breeding. Just this year, though, the Chinese government has finalized plans to connect 67 separate reserves into the new Giant Panda National Park. This is a significant step for extending habitat protection and allowing for in situ conservation of the species in an interconnected native habitat. Ex situ conservation, that is sites beyond the panda's traditional range, like that in the Chengdu Panda Reserve, are equally important as they provide opportunities for ongoing scientific research, public outreach and education, and tourism. Founded in 1987 with uh, six rescued pandas from the wild, uh, the original site of Chengdu Panda Reserve, also known as Beihu Panda Base today, uh, was commissioned as a research center to advance efforts to protect and breed pandas in captivity. Because of its uh, scientific advancements, there are now nearly 600 giant pandas in captivity around the world, all of which originated from Panda Base. This makes the Chengdu Panda Reserve the global center for panda conservation, research, and education supported by 17 zoos and multiple NGOs uh, worldwide. This success is enabling the reserve to expand beyond its initial research mission to include a broader spectrum of conservation efforts, including education and public outreach programs. Sasaki's master plan for the expansion of the reserve focused on three disparate sites. The first is an enlargement of the original Beihu Panda base, which concentrates breeding and reproduction research in one central location. The second site is the Longquanshan Panda Reserve, which expands the visitor experience of seeing pandas in captivity, as well as an expanded opportunity to learn about their natural habitat. Finally, the third site at Dujangyang Panda Wilderness focuses on pre-release training, allowing researchers to prepare juvenile pandas raised in captivity for acclimation into the wild. While the reserve's educational and public outreach programs have contributed to conservation awareness, um, its popularity with the public has put a strain on the reserve's existing facilities. Already one of the top five tourism destinations in China, over 8 million people visit uh, the Chengdu Panda Reserve each year, and, and 18 million are expected in the near future, a figure that surpasses annual visitors to Disneyland today. The reserve's existing facilities have exceeded its capacity to accommodate such an increasing number of visitors. To accommodate this anticipated growth, Sasaki's master plan guides the reserve's expansion with a more proactive approach. 
The environmental and urban context for all three sites was evaluated to understand how each of them might uniquely respond to complex program requirements. Functioning as a system, each facility needs to operate independently within the constraints of their own specific program and site conditions to accommodate the highest standards for animal care. But they also needed to complement each other so that visitors could have a distinct experience at each of the three sites. Our in-depth site analysis examined a series of environmental parameters, including topography, hydrology, land cover, microclimate, and many other inputs. A multi-criteria GIS analysis was then developed, scrutinizing each site through a habitat suitability lens to identify the best locations for giant panda uh, enclosures and pre-release training, as well as strategic siting for the new educational programs on previously disturbed land. Because much of the designed habitat within the reserve's expansion is outside of the giant panda's typical range, we mainly focused on a restoration approach. The strategy was first um, uh, to create optimal habitat conditions for the giant panda and their companion species uh, based on each site's existing resources and microclimates. Second, to restore the function and diversify region's mixed forest and bamboo dominated uh, understory. And third, to provide visitors with a more in-depth and interactive experience. Building upon the existing facilities of Panda Base, Beihu Panda Park offers an expanded research and education center to accommodate those seeking a more informative and science-centric experience. Close to downtown Chengdu and linked to the city by public transit, this urban destination introduces the giant panda to guests who come from around the world each year. A grand new entrance to the park replaces an existing bus parking lot with a landscape plaza and welcome center where visitors can plan their visit, purchase passes, and join tours. Upon entering Beihu Panda Park, uh, visitors learn about the daily lives of pandas and their companion species, their shared habitat, and they get a glimpse into ongoing research. Doubling the current number of animal exhibits, uh, the proposed configuration of clusters uh, at Beihu are organized into five education-themed zones, Panda 101, ex, uh, ex situ conservation, arts and culture, uh, the Panda family tree, and wild Sichuan. A new research center will host conservation scientists from around the world to exchange ideas about ongoing wildlife conservation progress. Inside, selected facilities, including panda breeding, are open to the public, revealing the science behind the scenes for the first time. Another new complex, Panda Theater, includes live shows and multiple educational films where visitors can learn everything about pandas ranging from their million years of evolutionary biology to contemporary scientific research. Also, based on our previous habitat suitability analysis, all enclosures for the giant panda and their companion species are sited on north and east facing slopes to maximize the benefits of cooler microclimates and also offer abundant vegetation and natural streams. Additionally, enclosure design strives to minimize light and sound disturbance to reduce animal stress. The second of the reserve's three sites, Longqingshan Pen Village, provides an abbreviated introduction to the giant panda and regional conservation efforts. Located within Chengdu's largest uh, forest park and near the new international airport, Longquanshan Panda Village will host uh, the Panda Academy, where visitors can witness panda conservation in action with a glimpse into environmental education and uh, volunteer programs. With a close proximity to mountain trails, Longquanshan is the perfect destination for people who seek nature-based experience without traveling far. A rigorous understanding of habitat requirements informed the layout of new pen enclosures, providing 25 times more outdoor roaming space than the existing ones at Beihu. Panda consume over 60 different bamboo species. Habitat care and capacity is based on the seasonal availability of various bamboo species throughout the year, while this is typically influenced by elevation and uh, topography. Uh, each enclosure's panda kitchen is designed to ensure that the full nutritional requirements of the giant panda are met. The exhibit habitats create a diverse and immersive experience for both the animals and their human visitors, offering numerous opportunities for discovery and learning. Interior viewing areas help to reduce noise and accommodate visitors in all weather conditions, 
while exterior spaces are screened with rock walls to limit the panda sight lines to human crowds. Land areas of the enclosures are also large enough to allow for animals to feel secluded, while immersive boardwalks are designed to make visitors feel as if they're going on a hike through the forest. Architecture is carefully integrated into the landscape, making the enclosures feel as close to a natural habitat as possible, while serving a dual function as shelter for the animals and indoor viewing opportunities for visitors. Each enclosure also has a designated area for animal seclusion, where pandas cannot see human activities, yet visitors are able to observe them from discrete interior viewing windows. The ultimate goal is to make the enclosures feel as far removed from a traditional zoo as possible and much closer to the panda's native habitat. Beyond the pandas, the Longchenshan site is also an opportunity for visitors to learn more about Chengdu's iconic culture, Sichuan cuisine, and the unique regional architecture. Uh, the site is organized into distinct village experiences that showcase Sichuan culture and its um, in vernacular landscapes where bamboo is an integral natural component as well as a sustainable building material. Taking advantage of the rolling topography of the Longquanshan foothills, each village is positioned to maximize views while protecting existing waterways and mountainside ecology. Nestled atop low hills, the Penn Art Village celebrates local art uh, with open studios, galleries, education sessions, and a sculpture park. Nearby, the Chengdu orchards and the distilleries link existing farming villages together with a scenic bike trail, allowing tourists the unique opportunity to see the agricultural bounty of Sichuan while creating economic opportunities for local residents. Longquanshan's organic farms and tea plantations also supply much of the fresh produce uh, to the reserve's restaurants. The third and final site of the reserve is the Dujiangyang Panda Wilderness. Located higher in the mountains at the gateway to the Giant Panda National Park, Dujiangyang is the only site that is within the Giant Panda's natural habitat range. It traverses four valleys, each with a distinct experience carefully integrated into the site's steep terrain. Bridging the gap between zoo and research center, Dujiangyang's facilities serve as an outpost for conservation scientists and offer a forum to educate visitors about the benefits of biodiversity and habitat protection. Dujiangyang's steep topography is one of the characteristics that most closely mimics the giant panda's natural habitat. Here, pre-release training sites allow researchers to teach juvenile pandas born in captivity to acclimate to conditions in the wild. This includes learning new scents and sounds, foraging for food, seeking shelter, and perceiving danger. Our stewardship of panda has far-reaching impacts. The biological diversity found in panda native habitat is extraordinarily high for a temperate forest ecosystem, containing over 5,000 plant species, 365 bird species, and 109 mammalian species. Panda serve as an umbrella species for this additional wildlife, meaning that protecting their habitat indirectly benefits other species. Design habitat at the reserve provide visitors with a more in-depth and interactive experience, not only with the giant panda, but also other species like the similarly endangered golden snub-nosed monkey, which is also endemic to this part of China. In addition to the in-person experience for visitors who are fortunate enough to visit the reserve and learn about pandas up close, we also designed the PandaQuest app, which allows children to visit the reserve virtually. From anywhere in the world, an online guest can become an advocate and learn more about what giant pandas need to survive in the wild. The game can also accompany you on a physical visit, providing kid-friendly instruction to complement the reserve's educational programming and informational signage. With that, thank you for joining us for this summary of the Chengdu Panda Reserve. This project is unique in that it was a collaboration between designers, conservation scientists, and some of the most recognized global experts on pandas. A key takeaway for us from this experience is that pandas rely on people for their continued resurgence. The Chengdu Panda Reserve's expansion sets a new baseline for how cities can achieve a sustainable model to generate a win-win for ecology and development. ULI's membership of designers, developers, and political officials each have a responsibility to find more balanced ways of coexisting with all species. This requires advocacy at the front lines of development. The Chengdu Panda Reserve proves that cities and stewardship can work together to benefit humans and nature. 
Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the future of the reserve.